Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on this light. Um, this is a little loud. So today, um, we're going to discuss um, best, I guess, deals for your money, best bang for your buck. Um, I like that saying. I get that from uh, the greatest review, greatest food review show ever. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's a YouTube channel. Just watch it. it he's a pretty funny guy and he's got uh, some good cool videos he's very um i guess brave anyway off topic so do go support him but um as you know i got my wisdom teeth removed today's the second well technically yesterday i got them removed so today would be the first day i've had them removed but i'm counting yesterday as that day since it was at nine o'clock in the morning anyway um i think the right side of my the right wisdom tooth on the bottom is on the bottom part of my jaw is just I don't know if there's a gaping hole and it feels interesting. It's hard to talk like normal. So um today it's not gonna be as long as the video. We're just gonna be doing um plaza stuff basically. Um looking at all the stuff that you can buy in the game, and uh we are going to show you the thing that we think is the best price or best price for your money. Um, and we're also going to be getting $30 for this stuff just because it's a good deal and um, it is a consistent gain. And I have a little bit of money from work that I finally got paid. Um, it's only 30 bucks. It's not a lot. Uh, I'm Because, of course, I'm trying to save for a computer. So I'm not going to be spending hundreds of dollars <laughs> like I usually was. Um, all right. So let's start out. So first... They give you this value tab in the plaza. Well, first you start off at top sellers or limited, I think. No, you, you start off here. So top sellers. So for value, you get, well, two passes that have been here since pretty much the beginning of this light. I think a little bit after global this launch, but sorry, global launch, not this launch. Um, so you get either um, Nexus Crystal Super Bonus for a month or um, records and 10% more gold and 60% more stamina cap. And you get five gold records to start with. So you get 35 in total for 15. And then you get 3300 for $5. That's how many Nexus crystals you get. I mean, yeah, I, I guess that's fine. That's basically, that's almost 15 draws. That's, well, that's definitely 10 draws because that's 2000 Nexus crystals. And you just need 200 more Nexus Crystals. So by the second day, you basically... Oh, no. Well, I'm pretty sure you could get 200 Nexus Crystals. And then you would have basically um, a draw... Well, 15 draws. Uh, gold record draws. Um, and then plus the total gain you get from here. That would be... And you can also use the Nexus Crystals for something else. But I feel like nowadays, I'm mostly just going for records um just to get extra resonances and just to like finish maxing out all my epics because i definitely don't have them maxed out um but yeah so 35 so you get 50 for 30 bucks and if you go to um well i guess let's go to regular so 50 bucks you get 19 so as you can see the value really does stack up because Getting 19 gold records for 50 bucks instead of 50, which is a dollar per record basically, so much better. Um, and I also want to note this keep in mind that 6480 or 6000, about 6500 6, um, Nexus crystals, that's about one. Oh, I did not want to click that. That's $100. I'm not going to buy that. Um, so yeah, a hundred dollars for just remember that number six thousand five hundred basically six thousand four eighty. Um. So yeah, that's for fifty dollars. Was there another fifty dollar? No, so there's not one here. And there might be some stuff here, but this is more special stuff that I have to get into. So yeah, basically, it's definitely worth it to pay thirty dollars instead of fifty for an extra thirty gold records, um, more gold, more stamina. And you, so that that's what I'm gonna get really. So that's why I'm talking about this first. Um, but I won't get it towards the end. So I'll, I'll talk about other stuff first, obviously. But yeah, definitely, it's a lot more worth it. 
Um, so actually, you know what? Let's do it now for you guys. So it's a month. So what? Um, basically, August 11th is when this ends. Um, I think so. I think I did the math right. Okay, so there's the first one. So just to get those records out of the way. All right, so cool. And then I'll gain 30 more records. Wait, can you buy it again? Wait, I'm so confused. What? You can buy it again? So I'm getting these two separate ones because I'm trying to review both of them. You know, at the same time, it doesn't really matter. But to be honest, they give you one resource. Um, of course, the black monthly card, black gold or whatever it's called, monthly card is definitely a lot better. Um, yeah, the black gold monthly card is a lot better than the regular monthly card because it gives you the 10% gold gain and the extra stamina cap. Uh, but I would say that the super bonus monthly card is a lot more versatile because you do have Nexus Crystals. And can you even like get it again? Is that really a thing? No. Wait, so you can just get double? And it tells you it's like 1,000... 1,100% increase. This one doesn't tell you how... Like what the value is but it's okay um so yeah i got both of those you can just keep buying them i don't know if it stacks but if it does um well i mean that was 20 bucks actually not even 30 wait then what was that oh yeah right right i'll show you guys in a second so the only reason i'm going to be spending any money on any chrome marks uh, oh wait no 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 i was going to get the uh we'll, we'll get to that in a second so that's what I think is the best for your money, just like in overall. Um, this one is a pretty good deal. You do get a name card. Oh, I'm, okay, good. We're still here. So, I mean, it's an okay, you can see it. It's an okay name card. Nothing's here. That's what the, <laughs> I think the name of the card is supposed to be, which makes sense. There's literally nothing there, but some cool little Night City graphics. Um, you do get 15 gold records and 20 rare experiments for ten dollars which is ridiculous like here just for an example well i guess we can is there not like a ten dollar record pack somewhere i think there was here no nope, that was 15 uh lucky passes okay then it was value um right so ritual fund Oh no, that's fifteen dollars. Where was the ten dollar one where you could? Oh no, but this is something else. Okay, well, anyway, this is pretty good. You only get it once. It's eight hundred and twenty percent value, which I mean is insane. Um, I got the first two welcome packs, I think. So I was thinking of actually getting this one, I think, um, because that gives me just twenty draws. But I was also thinking of maybe getting this because I did clear floor a hundred. For uh, one of them, a Scorch Messenger I can definitely do. Wither Messenger might take me a while, but it's only nine extra floors. I'm pretty sure I can push. Um, but yeah, basically, the reason I was saying that is because... Um, real quick, let's go to Celestial Anomaly. Um, I was able to draw two um, keepsakes in w one five times request. So this, this one right here, the five times request. I was able to get two keepsakes two of them so all i need to do is draw well i need to get at least 1500 more um crow marks but i could get an r1 yamata which is not a lot but getting him to r2 will be super easy i just need one more resonance and i mean i can max him out pretty easily so i don't have to keep spending crow marks um the only thing is i don't know how they're gonna cycle the espers if they're going to at all because if yamato is the only one you can get then, um, well, they should balance him so he's useful everywhere and then just take him off of being an Imprisoner Esper. He, he's really not... Like, even the four stars are better. <laughs> like, the Twins and uh, Li Guang, so much better. But, yeah, so that's the reason I was talking about that because I can definitely just get Yamato. Anyway, uh, I was thinking of just getting those 15 records because that's this is such a good deal right here. Um, 
strategic fun is okay if you're it's basically just a yamato pay thing with some extra memo chips and xp which is a oh, stamina sorry which is fine um and you only have to get to floor 100 which is really not that hard especially for void messenger void mess well i guess it depends on what espers you have but or what espers you have acquired and maxed out cuz you definitely need to max out your espers so that they can you can maximize them that's that's pretty much it <laughs> um for ritual fund it doesn't say clear so I, oh but you can only do 3 interesting so 30 so you can only so you can only do battle 30 times and Get the first mission out of the way, and then you would have to do for this. Oh, okay, so it's like thirty every day. Basically, it increases. Uh, but it doesn't have a daily. It doesn't have a limit, like a monthly cap or something, where you have to finish all this by a certain day. And you get wait, was it two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Okay, yeah. So you get. 23 records which is ridiculous um you get a decent amount of stamina some memo chips and then at the end you get a win set um superior with three secondary attributes so all of them yeah you get all four pieces so it's superior with three second okay yeah so that's pretty decent that's that's really good uh for 15 bucks actually that's not bad but you need to clear apep fafnir or chronos 300 times Okay, that's the Thunder set. That doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so the most useful ones would be the Nether set and um, definitely the Win set because if you can get a lot of speed on that win, all four pieces of that Win set for the secondary attributes, you can basically create a super fast character and create some very fast speed comps by just having a speed lead. Um, the best one would be obviously um, TA Nut because with her balance, like... Just giving her speed, having her at R0, maxing out her abilities, ascending her all the way. Basically, just having her at R0 maxed out, so ridiculous. For, with a speed lead, it's so ridiculous. Your team just becomes... Because you don't need speed on everyone with TA, because she does the swap thing and then minus 30% AP, or absorbs 30% AP, um, which increases the enemies and increases your allies. So it's really broken. You just have to, you have to think about that a little bit more. Um, that's why there are so many people doing videos on TA. So, yeah, Ritual Fund is pretty decent. I would say fifteen dollars for twenty three records. That's that's pretty good. So, like for comparison, um, let's see, regular. I guess they don't really have a fifteen dollar pack, but for twenty, you only get seven. You get seven records. Um, yeah, which does does nothing. You, you that's just a rip off at that point. <laughs> Um, and you don't get the stamina, the memo chips for grinding literally half of the materials in the game. Um, and you don't get a superior set of, well, really good equipment, wind or nether. Um, I mean, I guess thunder set is fine, but you can get crit damage pretty easily as second attributes, um, and crit damage bonus, which is like super easy to get. Like those, those are super easy to get. Um, I don't know about on uh, Thunder Set though, because Thunder Set it's like the specific sets they have lower chances for those specific attributes being present, like speed or thunder for crit damage or um crit rate for a fiery set. Like they just they have lower chances for that because it just makes the piece so much more powerful if you can just fill one piece of equipment um and use that for like I don't know one or, or two stats, just like. Filling up for those one or two stats is really good because um, then you can – you don't have to like find the right equipment anymore. You can just – well, you still do, but it's a lot easier because um, all your equipment is like supporting only one or two stats. But, you know, you need to get really good rerolls for that. And uh, I only have a couple of equipments like that. I don't have the quadruple or quintuple rolls <laughs> that people are getting, which is ridiculous. Um, okay, so yeah, I think we go with the $10 here. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to have to, yeah. Okay, so only 30, which is not a lot. Um, if I transferred enough money, I think. Okay, cool. Um, 
So very good, very nice, and I get this Night City card, which is don't really care about, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah, just to clean this up a little bit. So I went over everything. Um, the growth packs are kind of, well, they're actually pretty valuable. Um, I bought like one or two like a few months ago. Um, yeah, because they give you a pretty decent value. And for 35 bucks, you get 30 records. So again, comparison, you only get seven for $20 or 19 for 50. So that that's just something to keep in mind. Um, you get three legendary Pillamons, which I guarantee you is more, is probably $30 just for those three. Um, you get 1200 equipment essence. And this is the better essence, the one you can get. Uh, well, you have to, you have to clear the uh, APEP 14, I believe. Um, well, not, not just APEP, but Fafnir and, uh, Chronos, you have to clear them uh, difficulty 14 and then you can fuse any equipment type. So it really makes it easy so you don't have to grind every single time um, and on those uh, on the Ritual Miracle. But you should still, just to get the gold and sell the equipment, because it gives you so much gold. Um, it's like one of the best places to get gold is Ritual Miracle. Um, late mid game to late game, like it's just so good. And uh, really, this is just to use to get superior and, um, well, yeah, you can get superior or uh, flawless sets. I think you might get, um, what's the, two? I don't even know what the two is called anymore. Because I'm only looking for superior or flawless because those are the best, <laughs> best equipments in the game and they give you the most stats and they give you, they're the strongest. They're just the best. Um, and then you can get some epic Abilamon for any epic espers that you're still maxing out. Um, this is a level 55 growth pack though. I'm already level 80 <laughs> and you get 20 elite experiments or epic experiments. So very good. Very nice. Um, and it pretty much like, it doesn't decrease you. Well, I mean, yeah, well they do decrease the price from 25 to $20 and you get five less records. So that's fine. Um, because, I mean, down here, all you're really trying to do is get epics leveled up. So, yeah, they give you... Oh, they give you an avatar set for level 40. That's that's really good. And it's superior, yeah. And Oh, you only get... Oh, well, yeah, it's a two set. That's right. Um, Yeah, that's really good. This one, you get the nether set. So, yeah, the fact that they're giving you superior... um, 20... Yeah, so th these are all good deals, really. Um, This one... Mm, I mean, $15, 15 record. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. They're all, like, relating to whatever whatever level they're at. So they are helpful in any way for those levels. For, uh, for like, higher levels or lower levels, they're still useful. But I, I would say if you're around that level, they're more, you know, useful because you would try and be using those. Um, the level 60 and 55 growth packs are useful for everybody, like, Records, legendary billamons, some elite experiments, some uh, equipment essence. Like that's what you normally try and get every day. Or except for the legendary billamons, those take a while to get, uh, like once or two, one or two a week. Um, it's only one a week when there's no events, but it's usually two a week when there's an event or or some something like that, or around three every two weeks, something like that. Um, which is not a lot. Like it's it's really hard to max out abilities on all your uh, legendary espers. So pretty good deal for thirty five dollars. You get thirty records, so you can get. Well, hopefully you get a legendary within there. If not, you get some resonances on your epic uh, espers, and if not, then uh, hopefully a resonance on your legendary esper. But you know, it, it's a gotcha game. It's all about luck. Um, but yeah, so those are definitely worth your money. I would say. Um, these top seller stuffs, they go away really fast. And to be honest, they're not that much better than the normal deals you get. So, I mean, 45 records for a hundred and wait, what was it? Not, not the, um, it's regular. I mean, you get 40 rec, you get a lot more obviously cause there, there's some good deals. Um, for that one and you get a legendary billamon yeah so this one is a pretty okay deal 
It's not the best, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, the fifty fifty dollar one doesn't seem that bad either, because you get twenty five records, and you get twenty normally for fifty dollars. Um, the Wishstone boxes are actually pretty decent. I mean, a hundred dollars for forty five Wishstones. That's basically two legendary aspers. Um, and you get legendary. You get two million gold. Yeah, so that's that's a really good deal. Um. Yeah, because now you just need, I'm pretty sure you get 20 Wishstones per Legendary. Yeah, so it, it really depends on your luck. But Wish Boxes are pretty good. I'd say the $20 deal is pretty nice. And the $50 one is okay. Um, memo Chips are fine. I would prefer uh, Epic of Billamons maybe. Um, the Gold is fine. The memo chips are fine though, because you can use that to grind a good amount of stuff. Um, but yeah, wishstone boxes are definitely higher up than the record boxes. Like these are fine, but they're they're just a little bit better than the normal. Well, they're decently better than the normal boxes, but the wishstone boxes are like that's how you get, um, well, any banner legendary esper. So when the events are up, this is really like the place to go to, <laughs> which is when they have them up anyway. Um, these chroma these chromark packs suck. I mean, if you're gonna get any chromark stuff, just literally go to the strategic fund. Like, how much you get? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we know. Two, four, six, eight. So that's eight hundred, thirteen hundred, fifteen hundred, seventeen hundred, nineteen hundred, um, twenty one hundred, and then twenty. So two thousand six hundred for ten bucks. And you're telling me, oh, wait, no, that, no, that doesn't, yeah, because, oh, well, you get records, though, so I guess, and some, leg, and some epic of Billamon, so I guess it's fine. Um, I mean, I guess the $50 and $100 one are the probably the best ones, but that's also, you know, $50 and $100 you're spending. Um, the $15 one is fine, but, you know, uh, I, I don't know if that's, I think it's worth it with the conversion, but I don't think it's like, I think it's equivalent to worth. I don't think if it, I think it's a little bit above, but not a lot. Um, these are interesting. Um, they're pretty good value, like 750, 750% value, like $1, one record, 120 stamina, and two rare Starmions. That's perfect for anybody starting out the game. $1, because like, yeah, you want to spend money on the game sometimes, but you don't have to spend like 50 or 100. You can spend a dollar or six. Um, and you can get four records. Or you can spend... Oh, whoopsies. I keep pressing. You can spend seven and get five records. Get 100, 490, sorry, 490 stamina. And get stuff to upgrade um, your epic um, espers. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty nice. Um the last two, the $10 and $20 one, the $20 one seems pretty good. Like Legendary Billamons, they're like $5 a pop. I think that's how the game values them. I have, I have to do some math for that, but yeah, that's not bad. You, you only get, you know, I think I already bought it once, so I only get a one limit for that one. But yeah, that, that one's a pretty good deal. Uh, limited is cash grabs, really. Like 1 million gold for $5 is eh. 2.5 for $15 is eh as well. Like... Yeah, that should have been three mil then. If it's three times the price, it should have been three mil, but whatever. Um, one gold, I mean, that one's fine. Two, two, yeah, that's okay. It's not that great of a deal. This one is just a waste of money, really. Like, you get that basically just playing the game, signing in, and getting rewards. Like, you don't need to buy the daily supplies, uh, which, I mean, it makes sense why they call it daily supplies. So, really, it's just if you need it a little extra. $100 for 10 Shimmer Records. Now, as I always say, they do this because it's their rarest espers. It's the strongest espers in the game, in my opinion. Obviously, you can beat any composition if you have an anti-composition to it or the parallel composition that does the opposite thing of that team and counteracts it perfectly. However, you know they're always going to have something that's worth a lot more in the game and it's going to be a lot stronger, differently balanced. Those are the Shimmer espers. 
legendary well the epic ones are still pretty strong like they they're you can use them in most compositions as well like Asenath is used everywhere alice is used everywhere like those characters are just solid even though they're epics they're basically legendary espers at that point um but yeah 100 for 10 is 100 percent a ripoff but you know people will pay money for stuff um so yeah so this is what i want to talk about 64 Four hundred or six thousand five hundred next crystals, about twenty less, but you can make that up pretty easily. Literally, just signing in or doing some Sonic or Ritual Miracle battles and getting it from the uh, daily quest or daily achievements or whatever the hell they're called. Sorry, whatever the heck they're called. Excuse me. Five Shimmer records, basically a hundred. No, it is a hundred dollars. Well, you get it's when you purchase it once. I think you get plus six hundred and eighty. Yeah. Oh, they changed it. You used to get double. Wait, is that a bug? I think that... Oh, no, because I think I purchased it once already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first purchase, as you can see for all of them, you get double. So when I bought that, I got 13k worth of Nexus crystals, which was a lot. But I... I needed that Leora, and I only got one, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and to be fair, I did draw Nyx. I got her R1 because I also drew her while I was trying to get Leora. So that was that was pretty decent, and uh, I, I'm very close to getting her R3, which isn't that useful, but I was I got her to R2 accidentally just drawing her, um, and I already had, like, 40... Um, ripple pieces or whatever so i was like you know what i'll just continue with the club and getting those ripples and then i can switch out for um ashley heimdall because i did get a lot of ripples from uh the celestial anomaly void messenger because i'm i'm almost done with those floors so i'll record a video for that for you guys today too because i'm not doing a lot today okay so you get a hundred dollars worth of next crystals technically not you don't get the double gain but that's fine and you get five shimmer records, which is basically fifty dollars. So this one is definitely a lot more worth it, and you get one million gold. Those next crystals are very useful as basically anything in the well. They only, they're only for a few things, but they're definitely good, um, and you can convert it to gold. So definitely useful. This one is interesting. This is why I said that legendary billamons are basically five dollars a pop, but this makes it seem like. It is thirty dollars because if you keep in mind, it's hundred dollars for ten shimmer records, and they're charging you a hundred for seven and one legendary abilamon. So it's basically pricing a legendary abilamon at thirty dollars, which is ridiculous. I think you should get at least eight shimmer records because that that's kind of a rip off. Um, this one is fine. I mean, a thousand memo chips is insanely good. You can use that for up like increasing your account progress by a lot. Like literally memo chips are so insane. Um so actually I think this one's much more worth it than the Apilamon box one. But yeah, and then gold pack you get 1.5 mil for 1000. Eh, that's okay. Okay, well now let's do some spins because you know, we're here to spin and we're actually very close to getting the next legendary esser, but we're probably not going to get it within this video. Because you guys know how luck works. It's never in my favor. <laughs> it's never in anybody's favor, am I right? Okay, well, that was one epic, so it's probably just a a dud. Yeah, I already have... Oh, no, Siren. Okay, that's good. No legendary here, I don't think so. Hopefully, maybe. No, okay, well. What what can I expect? It It's one of the worst gotcha games when it comes to chances of getting legendary espers. Oh, we got three of them? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, we got two, and they were both maxed out. Yeah. So, one thing I hate about the whole gotcha system is it's 100 spins to get a Legendary Esper. Every other single game I've played, it's at least 10 or 50, which is so much better for progression that it just shows how much Lilith Games is trying to make money. <laughs> like, they're just trying to... 100% crank that gotcha system like to the max um, and I still need yeah 400 diamonds for that So I have 62 wish stones So I'm very close But um, yeah, I wish they would give you a legendary esper every 50 spins like 
it's really not going to make them, it's not going to lose them any money whatsoever. Like people aren't going to spend more or less money just because you have the chance or half the amount of time it takes to get that. It'll just help late game accounts a lot more, um, which is fine because those people are probably done spending money unless they're like trying to spend a ridiculous amount of money to like max out one Esper. So yeah, sadness. Um, I'm not getting Valeria. I'm trying to get my R2 Brewster, and I can't get Embla. Um, I really like what they did with uh, the Resonance, where now it's three. So 33% chance is so good. Uh, obviously, I can switch this, but that's just what it is right now. And I do have some of these, so let's go ahead and do some spins for you here. No Legendary, I'm pretty sure, so that sucks. Um, hopefully, we get something we haven't maxed out. Like... Um, Actually, I don't know what we have maxed out yet. Okay, we keep getting Jungmyeon. That's bullshit, Lilith Games. That is 100% bullshit. <laughs> we keep getting her every single fucking time we spin. It's it's not even funny. <laughs> um, And we have no more of those. So yeah, I really like what they did with that resonance. So here, let's go to resonance stands real quick. So yeah, I need six more for Elaine. And for Ashley, I need... 40 more, but I keep I can get up to like 20 more, I think, or 10 more. So I'll have 20 um, ripples, and then I can finally resonance her up to R2 because I think I have her at R1. Um, so yeah, really, I would go for the things I talked about. Oh, wait, I forgot about these rewards. That's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I just need... 30 more diamonds. Sorry, Nexus Crystals, which I can probably just get through here. All right, yep, there we go. All right, so I'll do another spin for you guys. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, we can definitely do this. So let's see if we break RNG, and if not, then, um, yeah, the chances of getting a specific legend, yeah, we didn't break RNG. Screw you, screw you, Lilith Games. Literally, the bullshit is so stupid. And this is why I try not to spend like any money on this game really unless it's something that i for sure need okay we're getting more ripples for her so at least we're maxing out that siren um so yeah the next 10 draw i have i will show you guys what esper i get because i i mean i can show you now since that's a thing um i wasn't able to show you my teams last time because i did get first place here so i'm going to show you this real quick before i leave um so here for phase three, um, my team. So I got SSS plus. So this is my team. Sunken Viper, I'm just trying to do survivability. So I have basically three healers. Um, I was actually thinking of taking out her. Or sorry, uh, Ollie. And I have no idea. Like, really, we just need to do less damage. Um, so, I mean, I'll see what I'll put there. But I was thinking of putting her because I do have her maxed out. And really... Like, yeah, it's maxed out. It's level 60, uh, 6 star, and resonance 6. Like, sh Alexa, Aphrodite, pretty solid. Um, and as a healer, she's she's pretty decent. She's really good in the Sentinel hunts against uh, Countess, the Countess one. I forgot the middle um, boss. Because she redistributes health. She doesn't heal. So it keeps your team alive longer overall. But, you know, it it's still technically they don't heal. So... Yeah, it kind of sucks. The restoration health is definitely better. But yeah, and the miss rate is really broken. 70% chance of inflicting miss rate up, which can definitely land on bosses. So it's really good. Um, and then, of course, the reflection, which is pretty good. And then the spelling buff. So pretty targeted, but she's decent as a character. So I might just be using her instead of damage dealers just to last longer. But we'll we'll get to that when we get to it. So for round one, I had first place, and yeah, my score was 10 mil. So I think I can get, this person has 42 mil, which is a lot, but I definitely am getting a better team, and I think it should be possible to get first place again, at least th at least third or second place. But yeah, they, yeah, so he has the two twins and Lil Guang maxed out, which I wanted to do, but 
I have none of them at R6 except for Li Guang and Li Guang I'm already trying to max out. So that's that's where I'm at with that. Um Wow, okay, he has Yuhime too. He has Sander maxed out. So yeah, really what I'm trying to do is max out all my epic espers because I definitely slept on them for a while because I was so enamored by the whole legendary espers. And to be honest, like I only really maxed out two of them. It was a healer and a defender. It was Horus and uh, Alexa or uh, Falcon. After, well, I guess I said their names the opposite way, but whatever. You get what I mean. Um, and that was really just for balance on my team for healing and defense. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, there's AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. 94 subscribers and going strong last time to check. So you guys, we're literally six away. This is insane. Um, and uh, yeah, I can try and start a GoFundMe, but I don't want to be like taking money from people. I, I don't know. I came from like struggling background, so I understand the whole thing about working hard to earn what's yours um so i kind of just want to work to get the computer but if it really is to give you guys better videos i'd rather give you guys better videos than try and stick to my morals and pride <laughs> it's not really pride it's just like i don't know i don't like asking people for help or money that just it feels especially when it's something like that i can do myself i just have to work a little harder so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys later